hello people welcome back to this another series of verilog coding today i'm going to show you how to code for the app counter using verilog code so let us go ahead to the module and name of the module as app counter and in the port list in the parenthesis we have to list down the ports so what are the signals we require we require clock reset and count for counting the values and module next we have to declare the input and output ports so input clock and reset is the input signal whereas the output signal is count in this case for me i'm going i'm going to use three bit up counter so i have to write it down here register reg two down to zero that is a 3-bit counter, okay? 3-bit up counter. It's a 3-bit up counter. And then in 3-bit up counter, there is eight possible combination. So in decimal, the count starts from 0 till 7. So this design, it is a sequential circuit. So the sequential circuit, it depends upon the clock edge. So it may be positive edge of clock or negative edge of clock. But for me, in this case, I'm going to use a positive edge of clock. So always, always at the rate of positive edge, positive edge of clock, begin. The functionality will begin always at the positive edge of clock. So I'm going to write down the statement or condition. If reset, is high begin end if the reset is high then the count will be made to zero if reset is not high that means if reset is equal to zero then count will begin with count plus one that means it will keep on incrementing incrementing the value now this is the design of the up counter let us go ahead and then write down the test bench to test the design module as test bench in test bench we don't need to write down the list of ports because they don't have the list of ports okay so we'll keep it playing like that and module what next we have to do is that we have to see the input and output of the design file whatever signals is declared as input and whatever signal is declared as output that must be bring it out here for input signal we have to change it input to register clock preset and for output signal we have to change it to wire count so once you have done th with this one, we have to in instantiate this design into the test bench. That means we have to bring this design into the test bench. So we have to write down the name of the module with the port list. I will just copy this one. Okay, I will just write it down. So up counter and then clock reset count so this is the instantiation of the design now make sure that if you have instantiated the design you have to give a name if you didn't give a name of the instantiation then it will not work so i'm going to write tut that means design under test this is the name of the instantiation okay design under test we are going to test this design in the test bench we have to initialize we have to initialize the clock so clock is equal to zero forever hash five nanosecond clock equal to negation or toggle of clock so this code line of code will generate the clock pulse here we can see for five nanosecond the clock will be zero 
and then equal to negation like you can see here the negation means it will toggle the signal for five seconds it is zero and for five another five seconds it will be high that is one and for another five seconds it will be zero like that the signal will keep on toggling initial begin and we have to write down the uh, we have to make the conditions the reset high and reset low okay so we have to write down this reset equal to one is high and for six nanosecond the reset will be high after six nanosecond will make the reset is equal to zero and after some few nanosecond will stop the simulation dollar finish so what dollar finish will do is that if I didn't use this dollar finish if I didn't use this dollar finish here the clock will go forever loop in a forever loop condition it will never stop the clock will keep on generating the clock pulse so in order to stop that clock after 105 nanosecond the clock will be stopped okay with the help of this dollar finish now in order to view the waveforms let us write another code here dollar dumb files paste and then dollar dumb waves so this code line of code will help us to see the simulation the waveforms okay so this is the design of the test bench and then design of the up counter now let us go ahead and then choose the simulator synopsis here i'm going to select open ep waveform after run to see the waveform okay if you want to see the waveform make sure that you check this option let us run the code as you can see there is no error so we got this waveform there is two signal I'll cut one signal as you can see here clock for clock for five nanosecond it is low for five nanosecond it is high like that the clock keep on toggling okay so if during reset when reset is high as you can see during reset is high no values is there that is X but once reset is down that means once reset is made to zero the count starts from zero one two three like that the up counter starts okay so counting till up to seven once it reaches to the maximum number the count will go back to the initial position that is zero and then again it will start counting zero one two three like that so the count will keep on like that okay so this is the waveform and then this is the end of the uh, up counter hope you like it Thank you.